Thanks for joining us. It is the story that has broken a lot of hearts in central Iowa. Just hearing about how one child must have suffered. We are continuing to follow Wednesday afternoon's shooting in the 1700 block of East Deal, where a man shot the woman he lived with before killing himself. The shooting reported to police by the 10 year old son of the woman who was killed. And tonight we are hearing from child advocates about this type of violence and what can be done for those left behind. Local 5's Matthew Judy starts us off tonight in Des Moines Southside. Behind me looked a lot different on Wednesday afternoon. Police covered the area in what they would later call a homicide suicide. A man shot the woman he lived with. A horrible story in its own right. What's even more sad? A 10 year old child left behind. There's always more um, history to the story typically. An afternoon homicide suicide, a 10 year old calling the police, and now we look into what happens to the children left behind when the police tape is gone. Being with family or, or friends, somebody that you're already well acquainted with is, is important for kids so they can still have um, that sense of safety and a, a sense of of security. As she mentioned, ideally survivors of violence like this get placed with family, but sometimes that isn't always possible. So they have like kind of like a, who they need to contact first, second and third like kind of thing. The last resort is foster care. And wherever victims of tragedies like this end up, there is an even bigger issue at hand. And hopefully there'll be services to support through therapy. I mean, this child is probably going to need therapy and support for a long time. And both Cardenas and Carpenter see this as another example of an all too prevalent issue. Domestic violence, you know, it's a big issue in families right now through the pandemic. There's a lot of family isolation. There's some sure there's a lot. There's a lot of added stress. It's pretty easy to, to live next door to people or, um, you know, to, to have people in your community and and never see anything like this, um, but somebody somewhere must have seen something going on. Carpenter's message, don't be afraid to speak up or reach out to authorities if you sense something is wrong. You never know. You might just stop what happened here on Wednesday. In Des Moines, Matthew Judy, Local 5 News, we are Iowa. And we don't know yet what will happen to the boy involved in this case, whether he'll be able to live with family or go into foster.